Hey everyone, I'm Jocelyn Maldonado from El Tri Online, your number one Mexican soccer source in English. And joined alongside me today is my good friend, El Super Mojado and ETO analyst, Edwin Casares. Amigos, muchas gracias por acompañarme, pero let's dive right in. The MLS is back. This Wednesday, El Inter Miami FC will face off against Orlando City for their first game of the tournament. Edwin, what can we expect of Rodolfo Pizarro and the Inter Miami team as they continue to go through this MLS tournament? Do you have high expectations? I'm sorry, but is Rodolfo Pizarro the only the only player in the field? It's it's this is my question. Why are we so focused about what Rodolfo Pizarro is going to do? He hasn't done much to me. He even his career in the Liga MX has been so inconsistent that it's a, a relevant player that to me does not have the title or cannot carry a team cannot carry a team on his shoulders. To me, the to me when he played in Chivas. He only had one good season, one good season, and that was when they won the championship. In Rayados, if you ask any other fan from Rayados, they they'll tell you, and and I know a couple of them, they'll tell you that Rodolfo Pizarro was never that consistent. He will play one good game and then play play three three bad games. So to me, I don't really have high expectations for him. I'd rather take a nap during that day. To to be honest, I'd rather spend my spend my day in a different and not lose two hours of my day. <laughs> well, of course, man. Of course, we can't get high expectations from La Malinche, man. We never can get high expectations from La Malinche. Listen, Rodolfo Pizarro has been champion with every team that he's been at, dude. He's won everything, and you know, with Monterrey, con Chivas, con Pachuca. You know, they they play multiple tournaments. He won it all. You know, this guy is el amuleto de los equipos. So, of course, I I think he's a good player. He he might not be the best player in the world, but now that he's come to the MLS, La Va Romper, I do have high expectations for him. And now that Carlos Vela is not <laughs> going to be in this tournament, he's going to be the, the the spotlight. You watch. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm just going to give you a little head count on Victor Guzman, Pase de Chiqui Lozano, on that Pachuca against Rayados. Pachuca won that tournament. Rodolfo Pizarro came out as a sub. Chivas. Against Tigres, Alan Pulido scored the goals. Okay? He didn't do much. Rayado against America, Valcioni scored the PK, and El Funes Mori was the spotlight head in that, in that game. What has Rodolfo Pizarro done? To, to be honest, in Mexican national team, has he done something? I don't. I see his career being so, so, not, so inconsistent. Uh, you can knock out on a player like that. That's why he's 26 years old and playing MLS. Like he didn't go to Europe. I don't. I don't see him being that kind of player that will carry on. That will carry a team on their shoulders. But then again, I might be wrong. You know. <laughs> Wait, haters are gonna hate. I just know that. Y como que escucho un poquito de celos ahí, uh, Edwin. Listen, man. I know you probably know him, or you know uh, with the players that he has played with. It, maybe, you know, you didn't stick around uh, long enough, man. <laughs> you could have been one of them. But listen, Pizarro has future. And if if he has to break MLS to, you know, saltar al, 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 al otro continente, you know, you, we'll, we're going to see that. I, I, I Believe me, we're going to see that, man. Super, name me a 26-year-old player from MLS that has gone to Europe and has done something important. Ya, ya veremos, carnal. That's all I'm saying. Give me, give me a name, because at the end of the day, Rodolfo Pizarro is not that person. Rodolfo Pizarro is not that kind of player. Ya no se hace lo awesome, man. Let the guy be successful wherever he's at. You know, if it's MLS, so what? You know, he'll he'll continue to win trophies and be successful, even if it's just you know to to kind of like uh, para complacerse a sí mismo, man. Uh, if he wins a trophy in MLS, I'll be surprised. I don't think he's ever going to win a trophy, but whatever. <laughs> well, guys, I agree with both of you. I really can't make a decision, but for the most part, I hope Pizarro can continue scoring for Miami, considering he's already scored the team's first ever goal in franchise history. But muchas gracias, amigos. That's all the time we have. I enjoyed the rebuttal. And fans, please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at El Tri Online and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
And of course, make sure to tune in to e the ETO podcast every Monday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. I'm Jocelyn Maldonado, y los esperamos en la próxima.